How do you know when you've achieved individuation and finally integrated your shadow? Well, here I am in an English sheep field as a survivor of the shadow integration process. You can tell because believe it or not, I've individuated so strongly that Carl Jung one day came down from the heavens with his strong but loving Swiss hands and he placed the golden medal of triumph around my neck and said, you've done it. You've integrated the shadow. That didn't happen, but individuation has no end point. And it's a bit of a joke because this question comes up more or less every single week of my life. And I want to say that there really is no end point. You've never fully integrated the shadow in the same way that when we're growing up, we go from childhood to adolescence to adulthood and then to old age. We individuate in spirals. We go from one stage of awareness through a spiral arc to another stage of awareness. But that's not very useful in terms of practical steps. So I'm making this video to hopefully be a little bit of a guide stone on your journey. I can see three rough stages in the whole process. We have foundational awareness, we have a process of growth, and then we have a looping to a new foundation. So we go from A through B to C. And depending on your temperament, depending on your trauma, depending on your psychology, depending on your ambitions, these spirals may look like this, or they might be very rapid. You've probably had this experience of focusing on the number one shadow issue. If you're familiar with Carl Jung's psychology, you may have looked at something like hostility or violence or your desire to cause harm to someone else and you've unpacked it with a journaling exercise or some other wonderful exploration and then it's done, right? You realize that you are indeed maybe a little bit hostile. You might be a bit snappy with your tongue when someone upsets you, or maybe you get a little bit boisterous when you're playing sports and it goes over the edge. You integrate that shadow. That shadow is almost taken in and eaten. And then you get to a new foundation again, that shadow integration with a full process. And then you wake up one day and realize actually you're also a bit of a gossip. You like talking behind people's backs and you go on another spiral and then you realize that you're no longer so much of a gossip a few days go by and you realize that you don't actually have all too much integrity when it comes to your morals you say things that you don't mean your words are no longer as sharp as they were in stage one they're no longer gossipy and malicious behind people's back but there's still some violence there and you realize actually the new shadow that i need to integrate is the shadow of self-criticism and just generally speaking badly about myself. It's a very rough example of the path of shadow integration. I'm giving one of probably dozens and dozens of different metaphorical journeys, but I hope the principle is clear. You grow up in stages from childhood to adolescence to adulthood, and in the same way that a 45-year-old man doesn't have the problems of a five-year-old boy, you won't have the same shadow issues when you're further along the journey. We really do mature as we individuate. It's a process. Carl Jung, I think, famously said that you never get to an outcome of complete wholeness. He definitely said it much nicer than that, but it's something like this idea that you can take the parts of being disowned. You can withdraw the shadows, which are a territory. It's not just an entity. The shadow isn't one thing. There's a shadow realm. Like if a light is being shone into the darkness, the darkness isn't a thing. It's a space. We might refer to it as the dark, but it's many different elements of darkness. It's the same with the shadow. So you'll never finish. The process will never be done. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't commit yourself to the journey, but it's definitely a little bit ambitious to think that you could integrate all of your unconscious, your personal unconscious, your lower personal unconscious, your upper personal unconscious, and then start dabbling into the collective unconscious as well. It's just not possible in a single lifetime. So, do we give up? No, we don't give up. I think the measure of success is how, I suppose there's two things. It's how hostile you are towards that which you dislike. So the people that you dislike, the behaviors that you dislike, the ways that people speak or act that just really get on your nerves. Do you have the understanding to be with them with compassion? That's a good ind uh, indication to your individuation. And then by proxy, it's how you speak to yourself. Neither too grandiose nor too deflating. You're not 
pedestalizing yourself above everyone else. You're literally not in a situation where you're calling other people sheep, but you're also not pretending that you're part of a flock and dimming your light artificially. If you're still saying negative, thing, negative things, see, I can laugh at myself there. I stumbled on the words. It just happens. I'm human. If you're still saying negative things about yourself, or you're barring in the wrong direction, maybe that's a place to work on. If it's a lot more subtle and it's more of a creative ambition, which you're really not fulfilling, that could be your next shadow integration stage. It really depends where you're at. Hostility is a good indication. Sexuality is another place to measure your success by. You really can't measure individuation on a yardstick of have I done X, Y, and Z, therefore I have individuated. And I don't think Carl Jung is going to descend from the sky anytime soon. It's up to you. No one can tell you. You'll never get a clear understanding of how far you've gone and how much further is left to go. And these sheep are doing quite the call and response. I suppose they're enjoying the conversation. But there's not much more that I can add. I hope that this is just a bit of a nature immersion, a bit of a fun exploration of the topic. I've got way more serious, way more in-depth guides on shadow work and individuation. I'm working on a course right now for shadow work in particular. Hundreds of videos on this channel. Go and check those out. This is a bit of a palate cleanser and an appreciation of beautiful nature. I wish you well on your individuation journey. Your shadow will never be fully integrated, but it doesn't mean that we should stop trying. A captive audience today.